Tina Turner or the queen of rock and roll is an icon in the music industry who's been serving the world with simply the best hits since the 1950s, beginning her career in Ike Turner's Kings of Rhythm Band. How Tina Got Her Name Formerly known as Anna Mae Bullock, the artist was presented to the world as Tina Turner in the year 1960, when she released the jam A Fool in Love recorded with Ike Turner, stating that Ike was responsible for changing her name to Tina, that he actually owned the name. How Ike and Turner Met Ike Turner was Tina Turner's husband and the two met when she showed up at one of his concerts in St. Louis in the 50s. And Ike was impressed by her singing, so she joined the band at just 17 years old and began playing weekly gigs with them until 1960. When Ike renamed the band the Ike and Tina Turner Review to spotlight her, and then proposed and they married in 1962. Then blessed with two sons, Ronald Rennell Turner and Craig Raymond Turner. Many people all over the world enjoyed music from the couple and it all seemed like a La La Land relationship. But what people did not know is that behind closed doors there was plenty of abuse taking place. Tina's Abuse According to a report, Tina was only 22 when she fell for Ike and since then has provided a long list of the kind of abuse she had to endure in her 16 years of marriage. And shockingly, it began even on their wedding night, when apparently Ike forced Turner to attend a live sex show, which was a disturbing experience for Tina. The relationship had been physically, emotionally, and financially abusive for years, and Tina opened up about it in her then-2018 memoir, My Love Story, stating that, quote, He threw hot coffee in my face, giving me third-degree burns. He used my nose as a punching bag so many times that I could taste blood running down my throat when I sang. He broke my jaw, and I couldn't remember what it was like not to have a black eye. End quote. Tina had had enough of him and made the decision to call it quits while on tour with husband Ike Turner in Dallas in 1976. And on the 27th of July that year, she filed the divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Tina also opened up about attempting suicide, also revealing that Ike sent his stooges to intimidate her while the divorce proceedings continued and that she was on food stamps at the time, living with their four sons because Ike controlled all the contracts and their money and all the publishing rights to their music was in his name also. Leaving Tina with no source of income and she had to live at her assistant's house after the divorce papers were filed. Ike had total control over Tina, economically and psychologically, to avoid Tina from leaving, and this contributed to her post-traumatic stress disorder. The Divorce Finalized Ike and Tina's divorce was finalized in 1978, and all Tina Turner asked for was to retain her stage name. Tina, which was her identity, and she gave him her half of the rights to all the music they recorded together all the money they made together, the studio they'd built and all the property they owned in exchange for her freedom and her name. It was freedom for Tina Turner, though she had to pay her share of lawsuits from numerous promoters as Ike and she aborted their 1967 tour when they broke up their musical relationship, causing major losses to the promoters. That was the price of her freedom, and yes, it took some time for her to get back on her feet. And career. And she eventually convinced Capitol Records to sign her in 1979. And by 1984, she had one of the biggest albums, private dancer, and biggest careers to ever exist.